All right, y'all. We are headed out to the pass this afternoon. I got some blue crabs. We got the first real cold front of the fall. It is about 50 degrees right now. It's supposed to get down to low 30s this evening. So I got some blue crabs. Gonna see if we can't catch some redfish out here tonight. Maybe some black drum also. Once we get this nice cold front like this, it really gets the fish moving. So hoping to be able to get on some redfish tonight. Gonna get out here in just a minute. See if we can't get set up. Hopefully we get on some big bulls. Y'all stick around, see how we do. All right, got the blue crab. Cut these in halves. Go ahead and get this first one hooked up. I bought these fresh last week. Didn't use them all, so I threw them in the freezer. So these are still a little frozen. Hopefully, that doesn't hurt my chances too bad. Well, we went out a few videos ago and caught all those black drum in the canal, which I'll have posted up there. Y'all go check it out. Uh, those were all flows, frozen blue crabs as well. So I think we'll still do all right, even though they're frozen. It is freaking chilly though. Wind's blowing about 20 probably. Try not to freeze tonight. Go ahead and get this other rod rigged up here. So that first rod was rigged up like a Carolina rig. This one I just got it tied with a single drop. Kind of like you would a pompano rig. I got 50 pound mono. Do have a float on here. We're gonna try that out first. If I'm getting some hits on the other Carolina rig, I may take this float off. Not sure if it's gonna be good or bad. Got the, uh, I think it's a four aught circle hook. Go ahead and get this other one hooked up here. Launch this guy out here. See if we can't find us some reds. All right, y'all. All the time, I'll show you all the rigs and whatnot I'm using the bait, but I usually forget to tell y'all the rod and reel setups. So I'll go ahead and show you all that real quick. This first setup over here, we got the Pin Battle Two. This is the 6,000 size battle two. I got a 50 pound power pro braid on there. And I got that set up on a 10 foot star stellar surf rod. So that is the first setup there. That's the one we got the single drop with the float on there. Next setup over here, I got a pin pursuit three this is just the 4,000 size and I got it set up on the eight foot star. This is actually the aerial rod. That's usually the rod I'll use for throwing casting spoons. I use it for throwing the poppers as well, but I went ahead and had this set up already on there. And uh, so I just went ahead and put a Carolina rig on the bottom of it. I'm gonna use it. I prefer nine or 10 foot rods just so I can cast it out a little further, but the eight foot will be just fine so for what we're doing this afternoon. Just fishing this pass right in here. Don't need to launch baits out over the bar or anything like that. So that's the setups we got going on for us. Looks like we're gonna have a nice sunset down there this evening. We got a ton of birds that have been working over down that way. I don't know how well we can see that in the camera. But hopefully that means we got some bait out here. When there's bait, there's fish. So hopefully we can get on some nice reds. Y'all stick around and see if we can't get a good one. My line just went completely slack on this one rod. Trying to see what we got going on here. Nothing there. I'm not really sure what just happened. Really didn't make sure I still got bait there. I don't know if something picked it up and dropped it or what happened.
still got crab on here though. Toss this sucker back out there. Hopefully it'll come back for it. All right, as I said earlier, these crabs are frozen. I just popped the claws off. Now to cut these in half, I'm just taking my bait knife, beating right there on the center of it, on the bottom side, kind of crunch it open a little bit. And then fairly easy after that, you can go right through it and get those guys cut right in half. Had a few little nibbles on something, I think. My line's kind of gone slack a couple times. I don't know if it's just pinfish messing with it. But I'm gonna stay out here just a little bit longer. It is dark, but I got this new light on my GoPro. So hopefully we can get on something. If you're seeing this, that means we did catch a fish. So y'all stick around, because we about to get on them. All right, a lot of stuff has been eating all the good stuff out of the inside of these crabs. So I'm actually going to try to hook this one on hole. And hopefully that will reduce how much they can eat out of it. I'm trying to hook a whole crab while frozen. Doesn't appear to be the easiest thing to do though. If you fish with crabs much, drop a comment down below let me know how you prefer to hook them. All right, finally got it. Best way was to pop off those legs, go right through that socket through the top of the shell. That was pretty easy once I did that. I'm hoping this will keep the pinfish from demolishing the inside of these crabs and the bait will last longer. We'll see. Go ahead and check this one over here. More than likely it's empty as well. I am gonna keep with the half of a crab on this one though. Just in case there's any smaller reds, I don't wanna have a bait that may be too big. So I think if I keep with the half crab, I'll be able to catch those slot reds as well. So that they just completely eat everything out of the inside of it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hook this guy right through the top of the shell, like so. Hey, fishy, fishy.
crap. Y'all check this big girl out. <sighs> Talked myself into staying. Caught this massive black drum. Smacked that whole blue crab. This was definitely worth sticking it out. Battling the cold weather, catching this monster. Go ahead and get her back in. Dude, I can see her swimming off there. Took a minute to get her revived, but she's doing good. Headed back out. Oh, thank you for the fight. That was awesome. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. If you can't tell, it's windy as crap out here right now. I'm freezing. Finally got that nice black drum there at the end. Made the night all worth it. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you give that big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything you want to see coming up here in the future. If you are not subscribed, make sure you do so right now. And until next time, y'all take care.